Hello, spiritual viewers. It's me, Angie, from Learn Love Tarot. I hope you are fantastic today. I hope you are feeling well. I had a very strange day, and I'm wondering if you all did too. The energy just felt weird. It started with a very strange dream that I will be talking about and hopefully unpacking um, a little bit with the cards on my channel live a little bit later. But for today, um, for our purposes, we're going to be focusing on August intentions since today is August 1st. It is the vibrational frequency of an eight, so a balance. Um, and I'm just saying because today was so weird already, nothing literally went according to plan. That just means I'm going to have a fabulous evening, especially since I get to be with you all. Okay. Bottom of our deck here, Wheel of Fortune. I've been seeing that a lot this week. Our first question here for the collective is going to be all about where our energy is right now. And um, I'm going to be asking, what am I ready to release this month? We are um, in the balsamic moon stage and we have the moon in Cancer balsamic moon is when we have that little sliver of light of the moon before we have that new moon energy on sunday so what is it that we need to release here as a collective energy balsamic moons are a time of healing um, it's when we end bad habits, um, bad relationships, bad thought patterns, um, just examining where we've been, where we want to go, okay? Um, it's a time to let go and move on from those. Um, the cards that I did pull today for the collective energy are posted on my community page. And funny or not funny enough, the card that came out when I asked about um, the channel messages I got today, um, you know, what is, what is the deal with all this nostalgic energy? I mean, I was getting roller rinks, sleepovers. I had an audition with Andy Griffith. Yeah, I know y'all won't judge me so I can tell you, right? Just between us. <laughs> The card that I got was, uh, let me show it to you, the past is over. Okay. And then in addition to that, um, I said, okay, well, how do we do that? And um, this is a repeat card because we did just have an energy eight day on Monday. And today is Thursday. So maybe that's why the energy feels a little weird. I am willing to forgive, but I pulled the deeper message, which is on the back. Forgiveness of myself and others releases me from the past. Forgiveness is the uh, answer to almost any problem. Forgiveness is a gift to myself. I forgive and I set myself free. In addition to that, um, the charms that came out, there's a little birdie here. I saw a cardinal at first, which is why I chose this deck. I thought the cardinal would be able to um, lead us to special messages because I did ask, um, what is it, or ask for the charms um, to, to lead us to information that we need to pay attention to do uh, today about about what we need to release last one here on the split 10 of cups coming in for us and there is the judgment card okay so we're going to go there with that as the surface energy here we've got 10 of cups coming in that is moving from nine cups of wish fulfillment to somebody else being in there with you, collective. Now that could be um, any kind of one-to-one -one partnerships where it's the two of cups energy of, okay, we wanna have a little special messages here. Um, maybe you just been through a 10 of swords here. This is the card of uh, this cowbird is a nest stealer. And what happens then is this bird has learned to, um, what is it called um, when you wear stuff when you hunt in the forest so that you don't get shot by other hunters? It's a camo. I told you it's a weird day. It is a weird day. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Okay. 
So if you all are dealing with some pain, the past is over here. Uh, this is the death moth and spirit wants us to forgive this and fly away from what is lost. Um, and because we're going to manifest more of that energy, if that's where our focus is. Um, so we want to focus on the two cups that are standing. And what I was just getting ready to say about the Ten of Cups, moving from the singular energy of wish fulfillment for self, there's somebody else in there with you, similar to the Two of Cups, what you want wants you. But first we have to release this energy, okay? So that will be a special message here we will keep in mind. In addition to that, um, I also hold the mermaid charm and she was in reverse on that, um, the outside of both of these cards and that Pisces energy just won't quit. Okay, so if that is that 29 degrees, um, Neptune may be releasing a past um, dream so we can allow a new one to come in that may resonate for you. Um, so maybe that is a partnership of any kind. Um, and it may have to do with boundaries. Um, where do you need to establish better boundaries? Because I did ask about um, where the collective today, what was the advice for Life Path 8s and those of us in this eight day. And that was um, crossed by trust the niggle and that lavender energy of her robe in the middle is matching this card. So third eye. Um, and I started to include the meditation I was doing for everyone in case you felt this energy today. And it cut the video cut off as soon as I got to Archangel Metatron. So four of pentacles here, we've been focusing on the wrong things. We've been hoarding or holding on um, to bunnies dust bunnies already collected and focusing on what's hiding under the bed rather than this fox this, this is the empress in this deck she needs to go out and focus on being a fox um, in addition to that this is the um, crescent moon waxing so opposite of where we are now so this will be here in a couple weeks and there's the two cardinals so whatever this was from the past we're not it's something that's making us not act like ourselves okay so that is a separate message here um, regarding a theme all right messages for the best and highest good of collected what is it here a time for healing Cancer Moon is the energy of the doula. Um, there are birthing doulas as well as death doulas. Okay. Um, so what do we know? Okay. Keep shuffling apparently. What is the collective energy? What do we need to release? Please and thank you, Spirit. Another five. Okay, so the fives of change, five and five is 10. That is connected. The five of wands, jealousy, strife, competition, infighting, um, feeling that someone is getting one over on you, acting, um, you know, this could be someone in your energy as well. Trust the niggle because it'll be different for everyone. Um, this beaver is trying to put up this dam. Nobody's helping him and the water's just fighting against him. So as I was saying in that five of cups, we fight against ourselves, right? If, if we are hopefully waiting for a time when the water, our waters have come being our emotions, um, this can be needing to release past grievances because obviously if we need it, if it needs releasing, then it's already happened. Let's see what this is crossed by. The past is over. This past fighting, this energy of no one else is helping me or I'm in an energy of someone just supposed to be working as your teammate and they're fighting against you. Crossed by seven of wands, there's the boundaries card. <laughs> right here and she says where do you need to establish better boundaries okay we'll keep her here and there it is right there that mama gator is not letting anybody she's holding the line loving is love isn't always on time okay all righty 818 energy here we come second question um let's see what does this card say about the skills we could develop to 
um, support us in the current moment. I've talked to y'all about the, um, we've talked about it on the live, the Chani Planner. They do this every first of the month. I always do this um, for myself, but I thought I'd share it with y'all tonight. Shout out to Chani. Okay, so what could, uh, what skills can we develop um, in order to support us in the current moment is being a better decision maker. And there's that present waxing again. So this is after the first quarter moon. So the first quarter moon is going to be a week away from Sunday. And then after that first quarter moon, um, excuse me, on the way to the first quarter moon. So this, I was right the first time. So we have Sunday where it's completely dark. We start waxing on the light in the crescent moon. So it'll be between Sunday to Sunday, okay? We can make more precise decisions, but you are leaning collective on the sword on the right-hand side here. Um, so you are leaning a certain direction and trust the niggle okay i feel like you already know well know what this is something that is bringing a successful completion of a cycle um, and this b is an energy of community okay so in order for one cycle to begin with this victory wreath up at the top here uh, we need to end something that is not working. And it's something uh, where we've been focusing on what wasn't working and focusing on the pain of that. Remember the Ten of Swords, though. This bird has already strategized um, how to not let that cowbird take her nest the next time. She's learned how to camouflage it. Okay, so this is learn a new strategy. And that may very well be um, learning how to put up boundaries in the first place. I didn't learn until a few years ago, so there's no shame in that game. Um, we're seeing here there is a grasshopper here on the bottom of the card about taking this new leap. And then frogs are always very similar energy to um, the zero card, which is the fool. So kind of pairing these two together, so to speak, you're leaping into the successful completion of the cycle. You already know which way to go. Um, and that could be, um, I know I need to heal now. It's time for me, four of swords, after some kind of a ten of swords, feeling, um, you know, a betrayal. Someone did not fulfill their promise. They promised to be a partner. And there was either a reneging of that promise or they just weren't capable of being a team member. Okay. Our next question is what does uh, this say about what we're healing, calling in, or moving towards this month? Okay. So, what will support us? The Two of Swords, better decision making, trusting your niggle, and jumping forward with whatever you know it is that needs to complete a cycle so that a new one can begin. Um, and we said what we're ready to release was the fighting, fighting this situation. That's what the universe's way of saying this is not an alignment. Okay. If it's such a struggle, um, if it's not coming in with ease, okay, if you have to put up you know, feel like you're fighting for your family here, even fighting for what you built. Okay. And I see an elk in the background there, which would signify um, knowledge or somebody that is able to help you here um, that has had a more life experience that can offer you um, some help here, some advice, and that can even be ancestors trying to help you. And I am just noticing here these lotuses, which do grow only from the mud, okay? It is very difficult to grow a lotus, um, and, and they are here. You're doing it. You're doing it, okay? You are doing it. So um, what does this Two of Swords say about what we're healing? What is the... What, why has the collective had to put up these boundaries? Okay, um, so that your intuition can come online. Um, this is the um, Orca, the King of Cups here. All of this tumultuous water that we've seen here 
um, and the five of wands and this sorrow with the five of cups that, you know, has stemmed from this ten of swords. He's coming up to the top to rise above the tumultuousness. Again, a waxing crescent moon. This is coming, guys. Okay, this is this is coming up. If you haven't been able to establish a boundary before, and there's something that you need to forgive so that you can release and let this go, so that you can protect yourself and take this new leap, this is encouragement from spirit to do that. Okay, and King of Cups is a fair ruler who knows every single thing that's going on in his kingdom intuitively. And this is the moon energy here of the full moon at the end of the month. Okay, so that can be something that we've been confused about. And this card, this fox, um, keeps on checking this empty trash can as if, is there something in there yet? Maybe I missed it. Maybe you feel like, well, maybe I'll just look one more time. And maybe this is spirit's encouragement that, honey, there ain't, there ain't nothing in there. Okay. No matter how many times we check the refrigerator for something to eat, if the fridge is empty, if we're all Mother Hubbard, it's not going to miraculously appear. This person is not going to uh, miraculously know how to be a teammate to you, okay? And the environmental energy of you standing in your power, okay? This might be, um, I'm just going to check one more time, okay? We've all been there, done that. And Four of Cups is dissatisfaction. So being a king is taking action on what we know is not there. And in the environmental energy is going, yeah, this is not cool. This is very dissatisfying. And that's two animals now that have been underground, the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups, the 44 energy. When I wrote my... Um, channeled messages and jotted my dream from this morning. It was 444. Okay, so that's the crossing energy there. Okay, our next question is, how do I want to feel at the end of this month? So how would the collective like to feel if we step into our King of Cups energy that's aligning um, head and heart so that our soul can drive the chariot? How do we, this is what we're, we're healing here is looking um, in a spot that we've looked many, many times that we already know is dissatisfying. Okay. Let's see. How do we want to feel Collect, uh, for the collective spirit that and another one? How do they want to feel at the end of the month if they step into aligning head and heart? Maybe the heart has taken over and made us come back to see many, many times because we've been confused. We've been, had a cloudy vision here. So remember, as the um, moon goes dark on Sunday for that new moon in Leo, we just had, um, Dawn had a live last night. I do hope you'll check that out. It was wonderful. It was about how we can use that Leo energy um, in order to manifest um, per house, depending on where your ascendant is. There we go. Thank you. And this one. <laughs> There's our Leo energy of throwing caution to the wind, that fire. Okay, so how do we want to feel by the end of the month? Balanced. Uh, we want justice. Uh, we want that to come in. Um, that energy came up in my channeled messages as well. Um, and when we do that, look at the, that 1B of the world. Successful completion of a cycle brings 10 pentacles. So... In that pre-shuffle energy, we have the Ten of Cups. There's somebody in there with you. The Ten of Pentacles holds within it the Ten of Cups. Um, and this is making it to retirement stage. This is being able to support all of the people around us. This is a community energy. All of the bees working together in harmony without 
you know, someone um, in our environment wanting, you know, to do all the work themselves, or maybe you've been doing all the work yourself. Okay. And, and that's your boundary. You're like, you're being more of a barnacle than, you know, than the wax on my boat. Right. And if that's slowing you down and we need to cut bait, then this is what that can lead to for you. Balance and a 10 of pentacles. Now that's something. Um, in addition to that, this beautiful swan energy, I sketched a swan earlier in the week. I can't remember um, what day. There's a cardinal sitting on this cup. We had that cardinal charm. The past is over. In order to release this, we need to forgive this energy. Um, in the meditation that cut off at Archangel Metatron, as soon as I got to as above and went to move into so below, there's that halfway point of your sphere. And then look above her head, it um, looks a little bit like lotus, the lotus flowers here, those points. And there are many hands around her, okay? Community, community, community. When we set this boundary, align our heart and head to allow our soul to drive the chariot, stop looking for um, things that are just not there. Um, two of swords can also be willful blindness. I just know something is in there, Ange. Spirit saying, honey, it's not. Four of cups, four of swords. What is that at the top here? These are the roots growing underneath. Now, this is um, very similar to an armadillo, except it's... Um, more rare than that and unfortunately them um, moving into their roll myself in a ball move makes it easier for the poachers to collect them okay so when again it's coming back to this when we're in an energy of woe is me i don't like what this is what i've got then we need we need to we need to let that go so that we can access those sand dollars and take them with us and come into the light. Come up, it's time to come above ground collective. Now, Knight of Cups energy. Look at that beautiful sun that we have coming up after we've taken ownership of this. The Knight of Cups is new date energy. Um, this is someone, this is spirit or a friend, this cardinal or this, I wrote down little bird, tweedle So it could be a message from a friend coming in, okay, um, to let you know about an energy that maybe you had forgotten about. Um, an old friend reconnecting. Let's see what's here. Oh, that's right. The page of wands. This is throwing caution to the wind and that beautiful, bright sun energy connecting together. So whatever this is, this date night energy, it could be girls night out. This is, remember, we have a lot of community energy going here. Maybe you're going to have a new moon ceremony. Uh, with your girlfriends, but this successful completion of a cycle that then leads to a new leap of faith is connected to the full rays of the sun, our, our greatest happiness. That is crossed by page of cups, two pages. That's a new start, new start, new start. Um, this could be a um, new energy all of a sudden coming in that is balancing us out and is reminding us um, how that energy feels again to feel that way. Okay. What can the collective prioritize? Said shuffle. Okay. What can the collective prioritize to make this possible? Now, if you remember, we have Chiron, the wounded healer in retrograde and the sign of Aries, uh, represented by Mars, the planet of war, but action. Um, so we do have the king here. The kings do represent action. So I, I see this happening for you, collective. Okay. 
what uh, can the collective prioritize to make this justice balance ten of pentacles possible top the star card so taking action on our hope and look there's the elk here that i saw at the top of the seven of wands when you erect this boundary the seven of wands has been a hot card all week long see that elk in the back corner when you protect what you know what this is you're protecting everything you've built here you're taking the high ground what awaits you is what you hope for all along and what you wanted it's not just a dream this is making dream uh, making your dream a reality knight of cups page of cups both and the star all have cardinals on them so I did ask the past is over what do we get what do we need to focus on so that we can let go of this past you need to focus on what new is coming is trying to come in another waxing uh, crescent moon turning the light of the moon on this is this is soon guys I feel like you're gonna have an the opportunity here is going to present itself very soon here um, next next week even okay so what we can prioritize is what we hoped for and wanted for in the first thing place okay cardinal cardinal page of cups this new love energy this is remembering what we wanted out of love in the first place. This is examining inside that cup of love. Um, there it is, the night. Yes, so the examination of self leads to this night. One, two, three cards with cardinals here. Mm -hmm. So we did have, I want to read that parrot because it was in reverse on the forgiveness card. What is this star crossed by uh, temperance energy here? And we have another frog. Look how the frog has changed from this light green, smaller kind of toad energy to this more mature bullfrog owning it. And that is another, yet yeah, another leap of faith and showing this growth of the energy. And this is when we end that old cycle, here comes in the new. And I wrote down, I sketched a puzzle piece because the temperance energy is finding the uh, missing pieces from the past that add into our own heart's cup, those aha moments. And when we find those pieces, um, that brings in peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. That's beautiful, collective. What I say about the chariot. <laughs> Aligning heart and head so that we can call in our chariot energy and we drive that chariot um, with our soul. And this is honey badger en energy. Honey badger don't care. You may feel out of your element even. Um, five of swords but do not get up in your head so that is the energy let's see we've got one two three of those five cards what's missing is the five of pentacles so no longer feeling in a lack mindset we focus on the two of cups we solve those, we focus on our dream, what we do want. And then in the environmental energy, what comes in the missing puzzle pieces. Here's your chariot Uber coming in hot for you. Even if it feels out of place, this deer certainly does not belong in the city, but it's adapting. It's doing what it can. It's moving on from that pain. Last question, um, what can we do to interrupt any patterns that may come back to present themselves? That's a wonderful question. What can the collective do to interrupt any of these old patterns that threaten to come back and derail this beautiful, gorgeous new energy? 
Spirit's helping you here. Your ancestors are helping you. I don't know if you guys, um, when you see cardinals, I know a lot of people do, not everybody. Um, but when I see a cardinal, I take that energy as um, my loved ones, not only just saying hi, but like, I'm, I'm here, I'm trying, I'm trying to point you in the right direction. So the Empress energy. Wow. I talked about that four of swords, the fox not being a fox. The Empress has not been empressing. She's been focusing and paranoid on keeping those four small bunnies that she's already caught instead of being out there foxing. Okay. So maybe some Stellas need to get our groove back here because you foxy and you're supposed to be out there mingling and there's our transformation butterfly, okay? This transforms you back into your Empress energy. So again, how can we interrupt the patterns that threaten to come back? Remembering the hard work of that transformation. This was not, this was not easy. But the reward is huge, you guys. It shocks the crap out of you. All these birds, those two bird charms that came out, this tower energy um, cracks the tree, and it looks like this was a dead tree, okay? Um, that had to come down. There's our new leap of faith after the world. Rarely do we ever get to see the sun and the moon card together, similar to the world and the fool energy. And these were environmental cards here. And we kind of saw it represented here by the frog. It's like you're getting ready to, but, you know, you're kind of inching, inching out of your seat, peeking over the high dive. You're doing it. I think it surprises the crap out of you. Yeah because <laughs> you're trusting your intuition intuition and there's that crescent moon to confirm our message guys beautiful you've been you've been through some things but what's coming in your environment is fast passionate communication um, this is a snake shedding its old skin and you're flying into a whole new world beautiful 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 energy guys i did want to pull that parrot energy really fast for you as far as advice because it was in reverse so that is going to be a protection message for us here I told you the energy felt weird today and i'm getting a uh, confirmation here parrot must have um, a message for us here the protection message is, are you aware of what you're saying to yourself and others? What our energy is focused on, our thoughts become things, they manifest very, very quickly, especially in a new moon in Leo, very fast, okay? Uh, remember that queen of wands is master manifester energy, that fire, okay? What we're healing in that Chiron and Aries is our ability to manifest what we actually do want. At what point in your past did you learn that you didn't deserve it? Okay, and, and it's okay. The spiritual view is here for you guys. We are all a team, okay? And we are all linking arms with you and we, we will all make it through together, okay? Spirit shows up as a reminder to heal, heed the words that flow from our mouths, our pens, our keyboards. Be mindful of the beliefs you have internalized. Are they what you choose to believe? Are you communicating with integrity? Parrot Spirit wants you to listen to what you say and your motives for saying it. That includes what our internal dialogue is, guys. What are the thought patterns that keep us locked in fear from not believing that we can have our dreams? Right speech is called for now, which means you are called to reflect on the beliefs that have been parroted by people so often that you simply accepted them unquestioning, unquestioningly. Where did we learn 
that we weren't good enough or that we couldn't have our dreams? Were you told, who do you think you are for wanting something? I can relate to that. Journal about what you truly believe and wish to see in the world and in your life. Write words affirming what you value. Speak them aloud. Express gratitude for what is just coming into being. Your voice has power. Say that with me, guys. My voice has power. Say it until you believe it. I believe in you. The spiritual view believes in you. Let's help everybody believe in each other. You can change the conversation in your heart, therefore the world around you. Parrots represent the law of praise. So you are called to speak the truth and speak with love. And I noticed that was on page 137, um, which is our justice energy of the 11. And guess what the next energy is with that? That's why the mermaid is upside down. The hanged man. I already I said Pisces energy has just been, yep. Seeing something from a new perspective. Um, earlier the week I did a reading um, about... A beautiful disaster can we see that as such and understand that what is this teaching me why is this lesson here for me you are called to speak the truth and speak with love I do hope you'll join us tomorrow night at five o'clock for happy hour where um, myself and my other co-hosts here on the spiritual view will be having some fun, pulling cards, doing some numerology, grab your uh, favorite beverage of choice and please join us then. I love you. If you've had a day, better days are coming, my friends, and we love you very much. Bye for now, and I'll see you tomorrow night.